Good morning, fatiguers. Okay. I wanted to do a quick rundown of the pick lime IV for Lyme. Most doctors recommend Rosethin. Dr. Learn is no different. He recommended Rosethin IV twice daily for six weeks. So I just wanted to let you know what that entails. First, I put the pick line in, um, I, like I just talked about. Then a nurse comes and she shows you how to, it's not really injecting, but in, inject yourself with the medication. For those of you that don't like needles, I also don't like needles. Um, there's no poking involved in this. So let me show you what you need to get started. You're going to prep your workstation. I lay out um, paper towels and then I put everything I need. Wash your hands first. <laughs> so, okay, wash your hands with an antibacterial soap first. Then, I also made a list. For those of you that your memory is slipping, definitely write everything she says down. So you're going to wash your hands and you're going to prep your station. You prep your station using SASH. S A S H. I mean, of course, this is only if you're on the same exact thing as me. Um, so S A S H stands for saline, antibiotic, another saline. And then your heparin. It's not heparin. Just kidding. And it, the heparin is blue. It looks like that. It's blue. Already failing. Okay. So, you're going to lay everything out and then you're going to prep your syringes. How you prep your syringes? Um, the second I take this out of the bag, it's no longer sterile. So, I'll just demonstrate. Mm, this one. Let me just one. Okay. If you can see here, there are some air bubbles. See that? So what you want to do is you want to prep your syringe and get all the air bubbles out. So you twist open the top a little bit. If you take it off completely, any pushing involved will squirt it out. So um I I like to bang it on the side. Can you see this? Okay. And that's how she that's how the nurse taught me to do it. And uh the air bubbles you'll see them float to the top. Just want to prep your syringes to make sure all of them are like there's no air bubbles. Okay. I'll do that later. Um Anyway, once they're out of the package, they're no longer sterile. So I prep everything in my workstation. The number one thing you're going to need, though, is alcohol. This is to keep your wound. This is to keep your pick line completely clean. Alcohol, your hands, alcohol, this tube right here. This is where you clip on, you screw on the syringe. So you want to make sure that that's clean all the time. So when you do your sash workstation, make sure you have an alcohol prep for every single time you screw something on. So for, it, well, I'm going to start this soon. I'm going to wash my hands and prep my station. Um, I don't really want to show that because I don't want to show that yet. I'm not really an expert at it. So, um, I don't know, I'll think about it. Anyway, okay, so what I'm going to do, prep my station completely so everything's set up, wash my hands with antibacterial soap. First thing I'm going to do is alcohol this bad boy right here. And she gave me a longer part. If you saw the, the first part of this video, um, it was shorter. She also cleaned my dressing. They do that once a week, so you'll see my dressing is smaller, less bloody. <laughs> um, okay, so now I have all of this to work with. Yeah, 
So this makes it a lot easier because if I had to go like this and, and screw everything on, uh, just the angle of screwing it on is very hard. So right now all I have to do is hold this with this hand, alcohol, screw on, um, you know. A good thing to note is that the antibiotic, mine came in a pump, so it's pre-ready, it's pre-pressured. So I don't have to keep it upright. I can just hold it, walk around. Uh, they give me a little bag to put it in. You know, you can wear the bag around. I just, I just hold it, put it on the side, uh, and it does its own thing. And it, it it's pretty, it's pretty fail safe. But a uh, thing to note about the antibiotic is that it has to be out of the refrigerator for two hours. And Dr. Lerner wants the Rosefin done once every 12 hours, and it takes an hour to come out, to be done completely. Uh, all, all of those numbers I'm throwing at you um, equal nine hours of sleep maximum. So it's pretty rough for me. I've been waking up at eight just to take the medication out to get it done by 10. And then I do it again at 10 at night. It takes about an hour. And then I go to sleep at 11. And you do the math on that. 11 to 8 is, is 9 hours of sleep maximum. And then I try to go back to sleep for those 2 hours to get uh, full 10. So if you're like me and you need like 10 hours of sleep, um, I'm doing this by myself here. But I really think that that would be probably the most beneficial thing for someone else to assist with is just taking it out of the fridge for two hours before you normally get up. So keep that in mind because that's like I didn't know that and <laughs> that would have I would have bought some sort of prop that that made it work that you know could refrigerate on a timer or something. Anyway, <clears throat> all right, so I'm gonna get myself set up. Um, I'm not gonna f maybe I'll film it. I don't know if I'm gonna post it though. I'm just, I'm not, like, I'm not that comfortable with it. I still freak out when I see air bubbles. <laughs> uh, we'll see.